determine all primes p, such that the system of equations, has a solution in integers x and y, because p plus 1, equals 2x squared, as 2x squared is even, so p plus 1 is even, thus, prime p does not equal 2, and it must be odd. From equation 1, we know that, 2x squared, is congruent to 1 modulo p. From equation 2, we know that, 2y squared, is congruent to 1 modulo p. So 2y squared, minus 2x squared, is congruent to 0 modulo p. We let, 2 times y squared minus x squared, equal np, where n is an integer. As the left hand side of the equation is even, so np is even. Because p is odd. So n must be even. We let n equal 2k, where k is an integer. Substitute n equals 2k in the equation. We have, 2 times y squared minus x squared, equals 2kp. Divide the equation by 2, we have, y squared minus x squared, equals kp. y squared minus x squared, can be written as, y minus x, times y plus x. This implies that, either y is congruent to x modulo p, or y is congruent to, negative x modulo p. Without loss of generality, we assume that, x and y are greater than zero. Because p is less than p squared, as p is prime. So from equations 1 and 2, we know that, x is less than y. From equation 2, we know that, y is less than p. So we have, 0 is less than x, is less than y, is less than p. From 3, we know that, y is congruent to, negative x modulo p. Otherwise, if y is congruent to x modulo p, then either y is less than or equal to x, or y is greater than p. We can check this easily. Let y equal, mp plus x, where m is an integer. If m is less than or equal to 0, then y is less than or equal to x. If m is greater than 0, then y is greater than p. This is a contradiction to inequalities 4. Thus y cannot be congruent to x modulo p. As y is congruent to, negative x modulo p. So we let y equal, mp minus x, where m is an integer. From inequalities 4, we know that, m must be equal to 1. Otherwise, if m is greater than or equal to 2, then x plus y, is greater than 2p. This is a contradiction to inequalities 4. As both x and y are less than p. So x plus y must be less than 2p. If m is less than or equal to 0, then x plus y is less than or equal to 0. This is a contradiction to inequalities 4. As both x and y are greater than 0, so x plus y must be greater than 0. Therefore, m must be equal to 1. So we have, y plus x equals p. That is, y equals p minus x. From equation 2, we know that, p squared plus 1, equals 2y squared. Now substitute y equals p minus x. We can now write, equals 2 times p minus x all squared. 2 times p minus x all squared, equals 2p squared, minus 4px, plus 2x squared. From equation 1, we know that, 2x squared equals p plus 1. So we can now write, equals 2p squared, minus 4px, plus p plus 1. 1 on the left hand side of the equation, and that on the right hand side of the equation, cancel. Simplify the equation, we have, p squared, minus 4px, plus p, equals 0. The terms on the left side of the equation have a common factor p, so they can be factorized and written as, p times, p minus 4x, plus 1, equals 0. As p is an odd prime, so p does not equal 0. So p minus 4x plus 1, equals 0. That is, p plus 1 equals 4x. From equation 1, we know that, p plus 1 equals 2x squared. So 2x squared equals 4x. Simplify and rearrange the equation, we have, x times x minus 2, 
equals 0. So either x equals 0, which is impossible, as from equation 1, we know that, p plus 1 cannot be 0. So x equals 0 is discarded. Or x equals 2. From equation 1, we have, p equals 2 times 2 squared, minus 1, which is equal to 7. From equation 2, we have, y equals, root of 7 squared plus 1 over 2, which is root 25, which is 5. It is easy to verify that, for p equals 7, x y equal 2 5 is a solution. This was obtained by assuming that, both x and y are greater than 0. Clearly, if x y is a solution, then negative x, or negative y, or both negative x and negative y, are also solutions. So x y equal, 2, negative 5, or, negative 2, 5, or, negative 2, negative 5, are also solutions.